Deputy, the I-Team is taking a look at our phones and how they might always be listening to us. Good evening, I'm Paula Eben. And I'm Lisa Hughes. It's a little creepy when something you just talked about pops up on your phone. You never searched it online, so you're wondering, where did it come from? Well, WBZ Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiandaka shows us what's going on and what we can do to stop it. Alexa, I'm home. There are plenty of devices we know are listening to us. Today's forecast has intermittent clouds. But did you know your phone could also be spying on you? You know when you were like talking about something that you might want to buy, an item, and then the next thing you know, your phone's showing you ads that yeah. for that same item. Does that ever happen to you? Oh, all the time. It is a bit creepy. And you might not even realize it. Cybersecurity expert Peter Tran says the information is likely being collected through the apps on your phone. It's, it's scary. It's, it's really, really scary, the, the potential capabilities of any of these apps. When you download an app, some will ask for permission to access your microphone and camera. And if you allow it... Most apps will ask you only one time. Mm -hmm. And normally you just, oh, no, I need to use it. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And it never comes up again. That means every time you open the app, anything you say or search for could be collected and sold to advertisers. It's called InfraShop. To show us just how simple it is to eavesdrop, Tran and his consultants created a fake travel app that looks exactly like an app you might download on your phone. But what you might not notice is that this one has a small orange light in the corner that signals it's recording. Well, let's go to Cape Town. Okay. And we're gonna read about the uh, you know, Cape Town will look at some of the nice shots of the, the ocean. Now it's recording as what you and I are talking. So whoever that is on the other end is getting our conversation into an audio file. So who's on the other end? Meet Taylor Puckett, a security analyst from Tennessee. He made the app for Peter in just a weekend and he's been recording our conversation while we were on it. So you have a file of us talking. Yes, this is the audio file that was captured. They are tagged with date and time. Well, let's go to Cape Town. Okay. And we're gonna read about the, you know, Cape Town, we'll look at some of the nice shots of the, the ocean. That's amazing. And Taylor says there could be a more sinister use for the information. Passwords, phone numbers, addresses, children's names, you name it. Yeah. Anything that you discuss, you could, you could grab. So the best way to prevent your phone from listening, experts say, is to go into your settings and check to see what apps have access to your microphone and camera. Then shut off what you don't need. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.